Wednesday, September the 10th. Uh, lake level still going down. It's a little under 912, about 11.9. And water temperature is actually going down quite a bit. It's been about 81, 82 degrees. Uh, if the current weather is any kind of an indication of what we're going to have for fall, looks like we're going to have an early fall because I think they're talking like lows of, of uh, high 40s this weekend. Uh, but you know, the fishing is. I talked last week how it had been fairly easy to catch, you know, 20 fish a day or so, you know, and a half a day. Well, that kind of changed for me. I mean, a lot of the fish that I was on, uh, mainly the numbers of fish I was catching were suspended fish out there on a drop shot. Well, which is kind of normal in the fall, everything really starts to be moving. And I struggled for several days, you know, trying to find where that fish had moved to. Uh, you know, this is the time of year where you can catch fish anywhere from two feet to as deep as 50 foot. But a lot of them fish I was catching on a drop shot seem to go more to the bottom off the end of these long flat gravel points. And they've been anywhere from 35 to 45 foot. I started catching some out of the conservation brush piles on a drop shot where I hadn't been catching very many. And I'm also starting to catch some on a football jig and uh, a finesse jig around some docks. But uh, you really got to change it up a lot. I mean, you got to have stuff to fish shallow with. You know, a top water is a must. You want to keep one on the deck. There's fish that are surfacing out over deep water. There's still a real shallow top water bite. Uh, like a Zaris Fook, a Pop R, Rico, and even uh, flukes and, and frog baits will work some too. Now, you know, like I say, you got to really change up. I'm catching some fish on shallow docks. And those I'm catching on a, a 3 8 ounce a Snowden jig, like a PBJ or a green pumpkin with a little trailer. A lot of these I'm catching 12 feet or less. It's kind of, uh, it'll kind of blow your mind how shallow some of these fish are as clear as the water is. Some of them are underneath the walkways that uh, go to the docks. Uh, and then you can take that same dock if it's a bigger dock and you can go out to like 25 to 30 foot, which I'm not fishing with a small jig. I get out there that deep. I'll flip a, a football jig in there, let it go to the bottom and, and just work it real slow. But really having to change up for day to day, and once I get a couple bites that day or that morning, then I can usually go and start a pattern, whether I caught them deep on the docks or shallow on the docks, or if I you know, caught them on top of water. Uh, like I say, on the drop shot, a lot of four inch finesse worms have been working good. I've been up at Stockton, you know, I fished up at Stockton for a couple days, and, and the fishing up there is just phenomenal. I mean, you catch lots of fish and, and good size to them. Uh, I got some new rods last week also, these uh, custom speed stick of loose. And a couple things I'm going to talk about on them, I picked them up on my way to Stockton. They've got, uh, you know, rods for just about everything you're going to fish, but I picked up a football jig rod. And up there at Stockton, I was throwing what we call a pig rig with a, a magnum finesse worm. And the rod actually has got an awesome tip. You set the hook, it's got a good, uh, good bend where it bends from the tip all the way back to the rod seat, loads up real good on the fish. And I was able to catch five and a half pounder one day, six and a half pounder the next day. And you know, these rods are running from 139 to 149 on the, on the casting rods. Now they've got another one. If a guy wants to save some money, you can save about 60 bucks. This is also a custom speed stick. And what this is, is this is some of the first ones that they made. What they've done is they've changed it out to where this one looks a little cooler. It's got a little white and black. And this one, it's all black. They've got several of them that they'll have for sale until they're out of them. But you get these for $79. Exact same rod, same guide, same action, everything. But save 60 bucks. You may not look, uh, be styling quite as much, but if you want to save 60 bucks, that's the way to go. And you need to check out this new line of rods. They're, they're really awesome. I've even picked up a, a new drop shot rod, a spinning rod, you know, a 610 medium light. Just got awesome feel to it. Especially the way the fish are biting so light. You know, you can just feel them kind of load up, pull the rod tip down. Got a little keeper built in to hold a drop shot weight back here in the back, or your hook, whatever you get on there. But these rods here, you know, if you get a chance, go to Sportsman Factory Outlet in Springfield, and that's probably uh, 
the best place to go check to get the discounted rods because like I say there was only so many of these made until they went to this color combination so the $79 rods whenever they're out of stock that's going to be the end of that price and something else you know if the guy spends that kind of money on a rod you, you want to protect them they just got in their new rod socks they've got them in, they've got them for spinning rods and casting rods and they've got them in black and yellow they're like uh, ten dollars a piece so that's a good investment to protect your rod now you know it looks like this weekend uh, we had some rain today we're going to have clouds in and out the next couple days but the main thing is that temperature is going to drop and you know i think the reason the fish are on the move so much which it's kind of common for fall well the baits moving you know the shad are moving all over the place the shad that were out in the middle of the creeks they're starting to move to the bank you know a lot of them fish that i was catching suspended we took one day in some of the same areas and went to the bank and we started catching smallmouths from oh you know two to eight foot deep uh, some of the ones we caught suspended out over long points actually moved up on to the to the flat point close to the bottom and that's the ones i was talking about we were catching from 35 to 45 foot on a drop shot so just a lot of things going on and there's no bait that you, you can't rule out i mean if you like to throw a spinner bait uh, basically if i'm fishing shallow i'm fishing fast i'm covering water whether it be with a, a square bill uh, a czar spook or a spinner bait or even a chatter bait i'm just trying to cover as much water as i can find out what type of rock or wood to fish are on if i'm fishing the boat docks you, you got to fish them slow you got to be real methodic get as far back in the stalls as you can as far as on the deep fish on the drop shot if i'm out there on them points and around them brush piles i'm not spending a whole lot of time in what i think is the key areas you know yeah, I might spend a little bit more time if I see some schools of bait or if I see several fish and I'm not getting bit I may try a few different things. I might also try a white jigging spoon uh, There's also been some fish caught on flutter spoons Off of some of these like main lake points what we call bluff ends where the main lake channel comes up against the point Real deep on one side flat on the other if you see fish out there suspended in that you know they're coming up a little bit higher you're starting to see them in that 10 to 15 foot range well if you come across that you know white spoon be a good bait to try uh, another thing i've been throwing is i've been throwing a, a kitek like a 3.8 or a 4.8 swim bait dropping it down to about 12 feet and just slower on it and also a bait i've talked about this summer is that little japanese bait called a spy bait which you throw on spinning or spinning reel you can count it down to whatever depth you see in the fish in but there's you know a lot of different things that you can try uh seems like you got to be flexible don't try to get locked in on one thing unless you get bit so till next week uh, good luck good fishing